Hello, hello, and welcome. This is Ascended Stars with your Taurus reading. And um, I'm Allie Jade, so happy to be here with you today. Sunday morning read. Wow, what a week. Um, I couldn't get your weekly out sooner. So if you've been waiting for it, I apologize. Um, these new moon energies in Aquarius have been really draining, like exhausting uh, i do like one two things that typically would be no problem and then i'm fully drained but it's also i don't know let's see how i hope you guys had a good week um it was mlk week and it was a shortened week it went by quite quickly quite fast these have just come out so i'm doing a pre-shuffle uh before the read this week kind of checking things out trying to see how the best vibe is for these weeklies let's see what we have for you taurus <laughs> okay hangman you're waiting you're waiting there's an energy of waiting this week <sighs> um maybe you went through something really harsh or you needed to walk away from a situation a person place or habit is what i'm picking up <laughs> Queen of Swords, speaking your mind, speaking your truth. Self-sufficiency, the beautiful Nine of Pentacles. She's been she's been along our side, I think, for the last two months. Um, making us chiseling us to make us more self-sufficient. I love her. I love her. Okay and oh my god your venusian energy the empress the i would call her the goddess i mean she really is the epiphany of all the queens um the best qualities put together you know she values herself queen of pentacles she could be a higher major arcana of queen of pentacles in a way which is you um towards virgo capricorn also um you know she has the best qualities she values herself she's comfortable in her own skin she can manifest like the queen of, of fire of um wands <laughs> i can't talk and uh you know she doesn't mind you know telling the, the truth queen of swords and um you know, but she's going to say it in a nice way. She's not going to come at you. She's not going to let it build up. She's she's able to express it as the emotions uh, come up as well. So, so you this is great. See, look, you end up on hold here. Something's on hold. You're waiting on something. You don't know how to move quite yet at the beginning of the week. By the end of the week, well, you've 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 decided to walk away from something could be a relationship then we have the queen of swords you weren't speaking your mind you weren't telling your truth and then you're going to switch that up and then this is going to make you feel pretty independent and you might be walking away from a, a relationship here because we have these two okay but you know what this could be oh okay okay this is what it is <sighs> some of you might have drug addict people a uh, um codependent people like maybe cuz pisces is is codependent it could it, pisces is um enabler i always think of the hangman as pisces cuz it's ruled by neptune but it it is um an energy of drinking or escapism so maybe there's something you haven't faced maybe there's someone in your environment that you haven't spoken to uh regarding their chemical dependence and now you are not going to be an enabler anymore you're going to be maybe you're giving them financial help um maybe you are very available to them you're going to speak your truth okay this is the week where you're going to say no more i can't i can't be doing this this is going to cause this, you also know i think you're going to know that once you speak your truth you're you're look she's also saving all her pennies like look at all her pentacles it's like boing like your bank account goes up <laughs> once you do this and and this woman's very she values herself but she also has money in the bank you know because she's used her she's made decisions um wisely 
and with her money so that's the energy we have let's go ahead and dig a little bit more and uh, get into the oracle spread for you and see what they what comes up regarding more of this information so I don't know if you can read it but it says uh, I have right here this this little decoration it says in full bloom and I had to buy it I thought wow that's that's the energy we are in I am in full bloom baby like a peacock okay so let's see here this week week of the 26 through the second through the third so this will probably last till the third of February man we're already in February it's crazy my god okay let's see what we have for you where's the astrological one let's get the astrology right off the bat what's the main influence here astrology wise for my Taurus friends Sagittarius this energy imbues power superior confidence and enthusiasm with faith good fortune and authority so this is a wonderful energy of Mars and Sagittarius is um, the current planetary aspect. So it's giving you an extra push, an extra vitality. Okay, so this is a cycle, all right? So this is, this is I think that whole scenario from the beginning of maybe a codependent or enabling type of connection that, that some Tauruses have. Um, this is a cycle that you, you're ending, okay? You, you, I think, um, let's go look. Look, yes, the sun. So this is being, you're very clear-headed. Uh, you're looking at this in a positive aspect. And um, for healing, too, that's very healing. This week, you're going to be more strategic in how you're going to move forward, probably uh, looking at the rest of the year and, you know, how you're going to break it down. It could be your taxes coming up here in the U.S. too. Um, six Chakra Archangel Metatron. Metatron is an energy of the record keeper, and it um, helps children, sensitive kids, indigo. Indi indi you might be dealing with your kids. I have a feeling you're dealing with the kids. Sorry, I was reading some of the things that Met Metatron does. This could be a parent-child uh, scenario, stepchild or caregiving, door to value. Yeah, I'm picking up a lot of the kid because we have the Empress and she's a mother. So either, either um, if you're a parent, I think this is really important okay so let's see so we have create creativity so your your creative uh, muse your creative access to the things that you want to do are is here Venus and Pisces is very creative and that Venus is your ruling planet leadership you're taking the lead now you're, you've been sitting back and now you're coming out okay this is um, Mars and Sagittarius type of energy to me because we have the sun which is a fire you know Leo we have the sun which is Leo and the leadership so this is a Leo person might be important to you but I think because it's a double leadership it says leadership and the sun and the sun represents Leo it's like you're really not going to be playing it small you're not, I mean you're not going to be behind the scenes you're going to want to be out doing things making uh moves money moves and and getting things done and organizing and connecting so with this this is a powerful week actually but you're going to have compassion with the situation when you have this discussion with whoever it is that um you haven't been able to because it's been emotional it's an emotional situation so you're not able to really confront it but you're ready now this week you're like you know what I'm making money moves I gotta do my thing and I gotta go out there and be who I am and I can't be waiting on something or holding on to something or enabling someone or feeling bad for them or you know I gotta go get mine yeah that's a good 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 energy competition yeah you're ready to compete 
yes, I got it. Did I just say I got to go get mine? Well, that's the energy of comp competition, you know? It's like it's a healthy competition. You have the wisdom here. You have the wisdom. Whoops. The nine. So that's part of, you know, Metatron also vir rules Virgo. So there could this could be about organizing yourself. This could be about... Uh, I, I get a lot of organizing yourself because in order to do this, you have to have things set in place. And then Metatron rules Virgo, which is about organization and slow movement and also good communication. It's mercurial. So interesting energy. Then we have the environment door to value. So there's something in your environment. There is a... Uh, something that's very what do I want to say uh, available to you that could be an opportunity but this could be your own social environment your own social network people that you have um, a friend a friend or a close family member or someone who's like a family member who could offer you an opportunity this door to the value of your, of how you want to move forward in your life with uh, this door that offers more value okay ah, now let's look at this door to value because that is very interesting what is this about <clears throat> what is this about page of pentacles wow okay so money some money's going to come in, be offered to you some money's going to be offered to you a little bit of money uh, like an opportunity. Uh, this could be to work at a satellite location or to work from home or to work on the, you know, be able to work on the internet, you know, um, more like a, a point, uh, a point of contact, but you, you can, you can be very uh, mobile. Um, it might be a job offered to you on the internet or a representation of like a company, but you don't really have to be there all the time, you know? So let's see here. Strategy. Oh, we got to do the world card for sure. Okay, hold on. The world card. What's going on? You might also want to, this also, this, this also tells me door to value. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to cough. It could be going back to school, <coughs> excuse me, getting educated online, getting certification or catching up, you know, doing research. I got this one, another sign where I, I, I got this, where I said, you're going to be offered like a job or an opportunity or something like where you're going to have to, oh, it was Aquarius. It was yesterday where you might have to catch up like, um, you might have to read up on the company or get certification or you're going to be a novice to it. But I don't think you're a novice. I think that you have to just brush up on information and it could be like doing it on the Internet. This could be paying a ticket. This could be doing traffic traffic school online <laughs> because that's your environment. OK. Um, all right. So let's see the world card. Like I was in, in the middle of doing the pulling of the cards and then I got the download on that. So let's see here the world card. We got this. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, so it's been for you to get this this energy to the world card like the 9 of I'm sorry, the 7 of pentacles. Um I feel like there's something in your life. There's someone in your life. I did since we did get this card, okay? The nine, I mean, I'm sorry, the hangman, major arcana at the beginning of the spread, which has to do with codependence and chemical dependence and it's a, you know, it's like having your head uh having an ostrich in having their head in in the sand. They're not really they're there, but they're not really there. And this is what the energy I get for uh, Taurus. So I feel like you've been defensive. There's been a, a defensive type of energy when it came to this particular person or topic or subject and uh, situation. 
and I think y'all are waking up that, you know, um, you're getting a new emotion about this. You're not feeling, uh, I think, as, as burdened, as attached to it. You're healing. I think this wound between you and this person was a con was your wound. It was a connection that you had that you felt bad. So you overcompensated in a way. Maybe it could be that. And now, and, and you put your dealings, your own dealings, your own money matters aside. And that's ending. Okay, that's ending. Taurus is back with a fierce force. They're going into a new cycle. And this new cycle in Capricorn season is about manifestation and money, money, money. Okay, so I do feel that is a very positive. It's clearing, you know, it's clearing a, a path that you couldn't see perhaps before. Because now you can see it so clearly, you're able to move in, in, in that direction and uh, benefit. So you have two cards of completion. Oh, excuse me. That was compassion. Completion. So this week, really uh, be open to... A higher power coming in to offer you an opportunity, okay, um, that may lead to in a position of leadership for you. I think the universe wants to bless you, and uh, I think you've been very patient and. I think the inspiration will come this week. You have the arrow. I think the the motivation, the inspiration, the the light from above, the bulb, the light bulb, the light bulb feels like it's going to go off. It's going to go off and you're going to be able to be like ding and know what to do. So it's a very powerful energy for you. It's very uh, productive conducive there's nothing but productivity here really and you got the sun with creativity so you might be attracting a lot of positive people leo sages um entrepreneurs you might be working a lot with them uh even pisces creativity piscean people piscean people right here you know with the hangman Aquarian people. Of course, you're not going to be going and asking everybody's side, but I do feel this energy for you because you're on, you're on this uh, really great position. You're going to be positioned. I feel like you're going to be positioned here somehow in your environment. Four four is eight and abundance. Okay, it's a cycle break broken down. So you've been we're working on this for a while. You're going to be positioned. I think to be put in a place of leadership because that's what the king of pentacles is so you'll be very much in your own energy here king of pentacles beautiful oh gosh this is really a great spread for you for this week taurus um short and sweet you don't need to get too into it let's do your oracle let's think let's look at the things you need to surrender okay let's look at in order to have all this manifest we do have to surrender some something here that is holding you uh, a little bit prisoner in that hangman energy and then let's see the power of love okay so what you need to surrender is surrender your desire to control people wow <laughs> this is very dorian <laughs> Being over controlling can sabotage relationships to more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. A lot of the time I think that this is the, this is where the Virgo thing comes in for me, where you want to be needed and then you get you get so good at helping people that they can't even help themselves. So you do become an enabler. And um I find that 
before that used to stump me like big time but now that I've, I've I've reached a higher age and I'm now at my uh, Libra ascending and not so much my Virgo qualities um, I can separate the the emotion of like of like uh, I'm not gonna do it for you I'm gonna walk you through it and narrate how to do it you know being a mom that's taught me that you know if I do it for my son he's gonna expect me to do it all the time and when I'm gone when I'm dead and gone that ain't gonna help no one like him asking people to do shit for him so I I just I just say I just really nicely am in his presence I say this is what you do and then I walk him through it and I kind of hold his hand and so you become a, a, a supportive energy a presence but you don't do it for them okay this could be like saying, okay, let's go. Let's go to the, the workforce. Let's go to the work agency and I'll go with you. I'll drive you. Let's, you know, this, this could be this thing where this person doesn't even, I'll take you to the school to register. They can't do it on their, they need that extra help, that extra love, which Taurus has. Okay. So this could be you wanting to help, but be careful how you help. Believe me, I've been, I've been burnt a couple times helping people. And it's, it's that theory of like being a lifeguard. You want to help someone, you know, when they're drowning, but you also can't die in the process. Lifeguards have to wait till the, 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 um, the person in jeopardy calms down and isn't splashing and it, because then they'll drag them down. So not being reactive to somebody's uh, emergencies, that's, that's, that's the, the message I have here for you. And then we have surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. Yeah, don't repeat those stories that, you know, kept you small because of a parent or because of a, a husband, a wife, a child, okay? Um, a significant influence in your life don't repeat these we're not to be you know repeating these stories and and, and reliving them or rehashing them you have you are now defined by who you are now not not who you were then so if you're telling these stories you're kind of reliving them and manif and 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 keeping them alive okay so the first card here for the power of love is cooperation in your quest to manifest the energy of love you realize that every person and experience has value so this is working uh together with other people also because i think this is really related to family and and, and enabling um be having that that energy of cooperation but not but not control <laughs> that's interesting because here we have desire to control and cooperation so they're, they're they're telling you to ease it up they're telling you you know taurus is great i mean when you see a taurus in action you're like wow it's just magnificent magnificent to see like they're hard working they're talented they're very giving like with you know charismatic i mean and that's sexy too they're very attractive when they're working like they could just like, they're in their element but um <clears throat> but like there's this this energy of there's this little slim thin line of control and cooperation so i think it's about being more patient it's being it's, i think it's about being patient you know i i don't have that much patience but when it comes to to the loved ones we have to harness that patient and we have to you know get it within us action so this is this is the week of action i love it things are shifting and moving okay so you have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul look how beautiful this is going to be an amazing week, Taurus. It looks like you are going to be put in a place uh, that you're going to desire and things are moving ahead and you are ready to go. You are holding on to those reins and you're ready to be in the driver's seat. So congratulations. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Spirit. Now let's go ahead and pick your Oracle card and move forward with what they're going to tell you here i'm doing the um, crystal oracle deck 
what you got is stitchish in serpentine don't know what that is and we'll find out in a second Okay, so it says, meditation, wow. Clearing your energy centers, detoxifying your thoughts. Fear and negative thoughts are preventing you from experiencing peace and joy in your life. They are blocking your creativity. And as a consequence, your life seems dull and dreary. You can change the situation by consciously choosing to love and trust the universe instead of fearing it. Sit quietly in meditation and invoke the healing power of love, imagining yourself bathed in beautiful healing energies. Visualize all the colors of the rainbow swirling within and around you. Feel these beautiful healing colors flowing through your mind and heart and imagine your thoughts being infused with eternal light. Practice this each day as it will help transform your negative and fearful thoughts into positive inspirations. There is nothing to fear. You are eternally surrounded by love. And that's it. You are eternally surrounded by love. Okay, I thought it was going to go on and on. That's a beautiful, beautiful little um, card you have here. So it's such a positive week. I mean, it's just all here for you. And the world wants to give they want to give to you and make you feel good and put you in the place where you need to be so give me a thumbs up uh, i hope you have a great week and um this is also about spirituality so if you have meditation sagittarius energy here it's about harnessing your beliefs and, and, and believing in yourself and going into the world and knowing that the universe is here to help you this week all right, take care. Much love and light. Please give me a thumbs up so people can start checking me out a little bit more. And I do have, um, oh, actually, I forgot to mention this. I do have a ring that I'm giving away. It's the Black Obsidian, this gorgeous Black Obsidian ring. And I keep wanting to wear it, but I forget to wear it. Um, this is to ward off bad vibes. So if you've been getting bad vibes uh, from a coworker or uh usually it's the workspace you know usually it's the workspace or it's it's um just somebody that is is in your space like somebody an ex that comes around uh or something like that but this is to ward off people from giving you know dropping like negative bombs on you truth bombs or not truth bombs but like uh negativity and bad vibes evil eye and so i wanted to find out from someone I want to gift this to you know I'm gonna choose a story and let me know why you think you need this and I will gift it to you and give you a reading um, so to, you know check it out ascendedstars at gmail.com and uh, let me know thank you so much my sweets and wishing you the best this week take care Bye -bye.